So I'm, I'm Joseph Vollmeier. Uh, I'm co-founder and managing director of Limehome together with uh, Cesar de Souza Freitas. Um, and yeah, we started in 2018 uh, to build the hospitality concept for the digital age and uh, have been growing to more than 110 employees um, as of today. And uh, yeah, it has been a crazy and, and fun journey and yeah, happy to tell you a little bit about us uh, and also the yeah, impact of the award. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I said already, uh, Limehome is um, to us is uh, the hospitality concept for the digital age. And uh, based on our proprietary tech platform, um, we have developed a radically tech-driven operator concept. And uh, by using the platform, we are able to offer our guests a high-quality design apartment with very consistent hotel-like standards, uh, but with the coziness of a home um, and all that at market-leading value for money, uh, because we are like very efficient in the operations uh, due to the automated processes. Yeah, so as I said, we are, we're both an operator, but on the other hand, we're also the basic developer of, of the tech uh, platform. Um, and um, we, we basically started with the ambition to, um, to operate hotel stays without any manual interaction. And already as of today, around 50% of all our bookings um, don't have these manual interactions anymore. And all this also happens at a very high customer satisfaction. And, and to maybe describe this a little bit, it starts from pricing, it starts from listing a property. Um, it also includes the customer identification, um, the passport, the payment, the check-in procedure, access to the rooms, invoicing, but also the provision of all required information. Um, and all this happens automatically along the customer journey and there's a lot of software development work also uh, necessary and I think on the physical side which is equally important uh, we offer fully equipped design apartments uh, which also include a kitchen because to our point of view this combines um, in the best way the benefits of a hotel with with a home uh, and therefore it also attracts a very wide range of customer segments from business to leisure, um, families, but also uh, mid-stay guests. Yeah, it's, it's an entirely new life now. Um, no, but uh, I think in fact, um, maybe to, to describe it a little bit, I think, I think the real estate industry uh, in general is, is one of the really last industries that got really exposed to digitization and um, like with my background of uh, many years in management consulting at McKinsey I've seen a lot of these industries and like online agents, iBuyer models such as Open Door and so on they have emerged over the last two three years so pretty late and uh, like the operator side ours has not been affected a lot um, we still have the same types of hotels. Huh? So there are some smaller solutions and devices. And I think this is basically where the industry comes from. And um, therefore the whole industry, more than any other, is still heavily dominated by its, let's say, heritage and personal networks. So change is very difficult to happen. And I think most of the decision makers out there uh, they are first very hard to get because they are still in their relationships. Um, they all know that innovation is super, super important and digitization uh, obviously as well, but they mostly don't have a lot of ideas what it actually means or what it is. And um, like the PropTech Innovation Award um, is with uh, such renowned partners, it just opens doors it opens doors to decision makers because it's kind of a proof or an evidence that we are somehow innovative, which people don't immediately understand because it's not their like normal business. Uh, and therefore we, we just got a lot of like new intros. It, as I said, it opened doors to deciders, but also for asset managers, which maybe not be the final deciders, but they they have to overcome internal resistance as well. And, and, and it's, it's like a proof point uh, that it's something good. 
um, and therefore it has changed a lot uh, for us. I think a lot of things have changed, uh, which is also normal if you are like a, a two and a half year old old startup. Um, so I think it, it was rather like an accelerator to us. Um, we just we just had much more discussions with large institutional players. Um, we got media coverage. Um, I think it's how would I describe it? It's like like a medal of honor, um, and with this you can go to the larger players. Um, and you, you had more conversations. We got a lot more inflow, um, like from, from larger developers. Because they heard about us, they know, okay, it might be cool to work with these guys. Um, so our expansion even accelerated. Although, I mean, we all know this, um, for a hospitality business, it's not the most uh, favorable market environment. Um, so I think being in a company which is growing three, four, X every year. Um, it's hard to uh, to give one reason why why we are growing like this, uh, but it definitely helped. Yeah, I think it was uh, it was good to see what's happening in the broader space, uh, and we got to know a lot of players, um, and and therefore, I think we we reached out to many people, many uh, players, which were also part of the event. To win again? <laughs> no, I mean that's that's the very simple answer. Um, no, I, I actually I hope to um, to intensify the relations because now they know us. Uh, I think now it's it's easy to um, to follow up on them uh, and obviously to see who are the new kids on the block um, that might be also beneficial to our to us and maybe also like to get some insights on on how we further can develop. Uh, our solutions um, but first of all it's about networking and uh, obviously we will definitely try to win again. <laughs>